Have you ever felt drained in a relationship? This question may sound familiar to many of us, and it's a clear sign that something is off. Toxic relationships can manifest in various ways, from subtle to overt, and recognizing these signs is crucial to your well-being. Let's delve into some common signs of toxicity. First, you might notice a consistent feeling of unease or discomfort around a certain person. This could result from constant criticism, manipulation, or even outright abuse. Second, you might find yourself constantly giving with little to no reciprocation. A healthy relationship thrives on mutual respect and balance, not one-sided effort. Third, if you constantly feel drained or emotionally exhausted after interacting with someone, it's a strong signal that the relationship might be toxic. By identifying these behaviors, you can take proactive steps towards positive change. So, recognizing the signs is your first step towards transforming a toxic relationship. How firm are your boundaries when it comes to protecting your mental and emotional space? A crucial question to ask ourselves in any relationship, especially those that lean towards toxicity. Boundaries, clear and firm, are our shields against emotional and mental harm. They are the lines we draw in the sand to say, this is where I end and you begin. In the context of toxic relationships, setting boundaries becomes an act of self-preservation, a way to protect our peace. It's about recognizing what's acceptable and what's not, and having the courage to communicate these limits effectively. Creating these boundaries helps preserve our sense of autonomy. It's a testament to our self-respect, a declaration that we value ourselves enough to prioritize our well-being. It's a way of telling the world and ourselves that we deserve to be treated with kindness, respect, and love. So take a moment to reflect on your own boundaries. Are they strong enough to guard your mental and emotional spaces? Remember, setting boundaries is not selfish. It's self-care. What truly matters to you in a relationship? This question serves as a beacon, guiding us through the turbulent waves of toxic relationships. It's essential to take a step back, to reflect on our needs and values. Are you seeking respect, understanding, or perhaps shared interests? Or maybe it's a sense of security, emotional intimacy, or mutual growth. Whatever it may be, identifying these needs and values is crucial. But how do we do this? Start by engaging in thoughtful introspection. Reflect on past relationships and identify what worked and what didn't. Think about the traits you admire in others and those you value in yourself. This self-reflection isn't just a one-time exercise, it's a continual process, an ongoing conversation with yourself. It's about checking in, reassessing, and refining your needs and values. This understanding equips you with a compass, directing your decisions towards relationships that resonate with your authentic self. Knowing your needs and values helps you steer clear of toxicity. How do you cope with emotional challenges in a relationship? Let's talk about emotional resilience. This is the ability to bounce back from stressful or adverse circumstances. In the context of toxic relationships, it's like a shield that helps you withstand emotional storms. Now, how can you build this resilience? First, acknowledge your emotions. It's okay to feel upset or hurt. Second, practice self-soothing techniques like deep breathing or mindfulness. These can help you stay calm in the face of conflict. Investing in personal growth is another strategy. This could involve learning new skills or pursuing hobbies that give you joy and confidence. The more you grow, the stronger you become. Lastly, maintain a hopeful outlook. Yes, it's tough when you're in the thick of it. But remember, this too shall pass. You have the power to overcome adversity and come out stronger on the other side. Remember, emotional resilience is a shield against toxicity. Who are the people that lift you up when you're down? When you're grappling with toxic relationships, the company you choose can make a world of difference. Surrounding yourself with positive, understanding individuals can provide the strength and encouragement you need to navigate stormy waters. Think of these supportive connections as your personal cheerleaders, always ready to offer a listening ear, a comforting word, or a fresh perspective. They empower you to rise above the toxicity, reminding you of your worth and capabilities. Choosing to seek supportive connections is not a sign of weakness, but an act of courage. It's a testament to your will to thrive, even in the face of adversity. These connections can be found in friends, family, or professional counselors, all of whom can provide invaluable insights and emotional support. Remember, you are not alone in your journey. Supportive connections are your allies in the fight against toxicity. Do you know what constitutes a healthy relationship? It's a question we often overlook, but one that holds immense power when it comes to our interpersonal dynamics. You see, a healthy relationship is characterized by mutual respect, trust, 
honesty, communication, and understanding. It's a connection where both parties feel comfortable expressing their needs, fears, and desires without the fear of judgment or retaliation. In a healthy relationship, there's a balance of give and take, where both individuals feel seen, heard, and valued. There's room for personal growth for both the individual and the relationship as a whole. Now, why is this important? By understanding these characteristics, we empower ourselves to distinguish between healthy and toxic dynamics. We become equipped to identify when a relationship is serving us and when it's draining us. So take some time to educate yourself about what a healthy relationship looks like. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to relationships. How often do you prioritize your well-being? Let's take a moment to ponder on this. In the throes of toxic relationships, it's incredibly vital to prioritize self-care. It's more than bubble baths and spa days, it's about nurturing your mind, body, and soul. Self-care is the act of replenishing your internal resources, enhancing your resilience to stressors, and promoting emotional healing. It's about recognizing your needs and taking steps to meet them. This could mean setting aside time for activities that bring you joy, ensuring you're eating nutritiously, getting ample sleep, or simply taking a moment to breathe. In the context of toxic relationships, self-care can be a powerful tool for maintaining your emotional health. It provides a buffer, a protective layer that shields your well-being from the negative impacts of toxicity. Remember, you are your longest commitment, and taking care of yourself is not an act of selfishness but an essential part of survival. Self-care is not a luxury, it's a necessity, especially in the face of toxicity. How comfortable are you with expressing your needs in a relationship? This question leads us into a vital topic. Effective communication strategies in toxic relationships. It's not always easy to speak up, especially when we're dealing with difficult scenarios. But expressing your needs assertively is a powerful tool for transforming unhealthy dynamics. Imagine you're speaking from your core, your true self, and not from a place of fear or insecurity. This is the essence of assertive communication. It's about being clear, straightforward and respectful in expressing your needs and expectations. Setting clear expectations is another crucial component. It's not about controlling the other person, but rather about creating a shared understanding of what's acceptable and what's not. It empowers you and the other party to align your actions with these expectations, contributing to healthier dynamics. Remember, it's your right to express your needs and set your boundaries. Effective communication is key to transforming toxic dynamics. Do you know when it's time to let go of a toxic relationship? It's a question we often grapple with, but the answer lies within our own feelings of discomfort, unease and perhaps even dread. Recognizing when to let go is fundamentally about empowerment. It's about acknowledging your self-worth and understanding that you deserve to be treated with respect and kindness. Self-preservation is not a selfish act, it's an act of self-love. It's about releasing the negative ties that drain your energy and affect your mental health. By letting go, you're not only freeing yourself from the toxicity, but also clearing a path for personal growth and vitality. Imagine a life where you're no longer bound by negativity but instead surrounded by positivity and understanding. A life where you're allowed to grow, to thrive and to be yourself without judgment or fear, that's the power of letting go. Sometimes letting go is the best decision you can make for yourself. What are the things in life that bring you joy and fulfillment? This question is at the heart of cultivating a positive mindset. It's about shifting your perspective, focusing not on the negatives, but on the aspects of life that bring you happiness and satisfaction. It's about recognizing your worth and not letting anyone or anything diminish it. The transformative power of a positive mindset is truly remarkable. It can turn challenges into opportunities, hurdles into stepping stones, and adversity into strength. It's about seeing the silver linings, appreciating the small victories, and celebrating your growth. It's about accepting yourself, flaws and all, and knowing that your worth is not defined by others. Harnessing this power can contribute to a healthier, more vibrant you. It can help you navigate through life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. So, remember to focus on the good, radiate positivity, and let your light shine bright. Cultivating a positive mindset is your ticket to a toxicity-free life. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you want to learn more about self-improvement, check out our playlist. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.